Genesis chapter 11, verse 1. Now the entire earth was of one language and uniform words. And it came to pass, when they traveled from the east, that they found a valley in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and fire them thoroughly. So the bricks were to them for stones, and the clay was to them for motor. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens, and let us make ourselves a name, lest we be scattered upon the face of the entire earth. And the Lord descended to see the city and the tower that the sons of man had built. And the Lord said, Lo, they are one people, and they all have one language, and this is what they have commenced to do. Now, will it not be withheld from them all that they have planned to do? Come, let us descend and confuse their language, so that one will not understand the language of his companion. And the Lord scattered them from there upon the face of the entire earth, and they ceased building the city. Therefore, he named it Babel. For there the Lord confused the language of the entire earth, and from there the Lord scattered them upon the face of the entire earth. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was 100 years old, and he begot Arpachshad two, two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he had begotten Arpachshad 500 years, and he begot sons and daughters. And Arpachshad lived 35 years, and he begot Shelah. And Arpachshad lived, after he had begotten Shelah, 403 years, and he begot sons and daughters. And Shelah lived 30 years, and he begot Eller, or Eber. And Shelah lived, after he had begotten Eber, 403 years, and he begot sons and daughters. And Eber lived 34 years, and he begot Peleg. And Eber lived after he had begotten Peleg 430 years, and he begot sons and daughters. And Peleg lived 30 years, and he begot Reu. And Peleg lived after he had begotten Reu 209 years, and he begot sons and daughters. And Reu lived 32 years, and he begot Sarug. And Reu lived after he had begotten Sarug 207 years, and he begot sons and daughters. And Sarug lived 30 years, and he begot Nahor. And Sarug lived after he had begotten Nahor 200 years, and he begot sons and daughters. And Nahor lived 29 years, and he begot Terah. And Nahor lived after he had begotten Terah 119 years, and he begot sons and daughters. And Terah lived 70 years, and he begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And these are the generations of Terah. Terah begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran, and Haran begot Lot. And Haran died during the lifetime of Terah his father in the land of his birth, in Ur of the Chaldees. And Abram and Nahor took themselves wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife was Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. And Sarai was barren. She had no child. And Terah took Abram, his son, and Lot, the son of Haran, his grandson, and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, the wife of Abram, his son, and they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go to the land of Canaan. And they came as far as Haran, Haran and settled there. And the days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Haran.